A new memorial to 22 fallen British soldiers has been unveiled at a patrol base in Afghanistan. It was commissioned by members of the 1st Battalion, the Yorkshire Regiment, after one of their colleagues was killed last year. The unveiling reflects what has been the toughest of starts to their current tour of duty in Helmand. Our reporter James Hurst has been to see it. Pibi Rahim sits on a stark line in the Helmand landscape. To the north, nothing but miles of desert. To the south, the green zone. The insurgents' front line is just a few hundred metres from this base, but the presence of British troops does now provide a security bubble for those living nearby. Achieving that security has been hard fought. 22 British lives have been lost in and around Rahim Calais in just over four years. Now those fallen servicemen have a new permanent memorial. This memorial is really important to me as it now remembers our fallen in a dignified and proper way. It's a time for sadness and reflection, and we will rightly remember our brothers in arms, <coughs> but it's also a time of hope and reflection on how far we have come and how much we have achieved. Members of B Company 1 Yorks gathered for the unveiling, carried out by the commander of Task Force Helmand. The last name on the memorial is one of this company's own, Private John King, killed by an IED in December. Private King, or Kingy, as he was known to us in B Company, was one of those rare soldiers who never moaned, never complained, never shirked. He would simply get on with anything that was thrown at him, and he would do so with a smile on his face. The true measure of a man is not so much what his achievements have been or or how much money he's made, or what he's done. It's the love and the fellowship that he leaves behind. The decision to create this memorial was taken after Private King's death. There was a memorial wall here, but it was in need of repair and couldn't easily be preserved when drawdown happens here. Each of the plaques from the old wall will be returned to that person's unit. This new memorial, though, will continue to provide a single record of their shared sacrifices in and around Rahim Calais. And it is a memorial that their families and friends will be able to visit in future. Uh, this memorial has been designed because it's a remove, uh, removal memorial. Uh, so when this place eventually does close down, or once we've done our work here, uh, the memorial can be lifted and taken to somewhere else as a respect to the fallen. With one York's due to return home soon, it will also be a reminder to the Grenadier Guards who follow them of the sacrifices already made here. James Hurst, Forces News, Raheem.